Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a video about a project that I thought was really cool. It's a very quick video, it's not too long, doesn't strain your brain. This is the HFS heavy duty guillotine paper cutter that cuts up to 12 inches. So I got asked to um, cut the uh, cut some of those little miniature uh, what do you call them? Composition books that come three for a dollar from Dollar Tree. Well, they used to. That's how old mine are. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to put the roller bind system on them. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So there's the paper cutter. I showed you the the um, composition notebooks. I left the plastic packaging on them on purpose so that I could rest assured that the spines would be lined up. Good idea, huh? I have one once in a while. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, started moving around. There's a, um, no, there's some kind of a tool on the other side where you see my hand with the watch where you can move it along and you can push it towards the blade. It has measurements down on the flat portion of it. And then you screw in the screw and it level, it, it Make sure that the uh, book does not back up while you're cutting it. The cart moved. So there are the there are the three spines off the little books and the packaging. I just thought that was so cool. Next, I'm gonna fumble around trying to um, show you what I thought I was showing, which was the three that had the spines still on them and the three that I cut off. And I'm looking desperately for the camera because I don't usually um, work with a tripod. So I'm fumbling around right here. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so there's just two of the same. So I have three sets of those and there's three books in each one. And I'm going to cut all the spines off of the other two sets. All right now we're back to normal. Here I am at the desk and I'm showing you the one with the spine and then the ones that I cut off. Take the packaging off and I'm going to get out the roller bind system and I'm going to try to figure out how to space the paper and the cover so that I don't get it too close to the end. So I spent about a half an hour chopping up stuff and finally figured out that I need to put it in between their measurements on here. So I took painter's tape and I laid it down at the top and laid it down at the bottom so I would know where to put the book in. This is the cover. Now the cover is a little bit heavier than the paper. Actually, it's a lot heavier than the paper because it's in between cardstock and chipboard. So it was hard to mash down with that little tool. I had to really put some, some pressure on it. You see, it was a little bit of pressure. So I tried to center it so that the the little um, tabs were not too close to the top and not too close to the bottom. So that's why I have the tape on it to remind myself not to scoot it up or down so that I end up with a lot of space at the top or a lot of space at the bottom and none at the other end. And I did that a couple times. I had a another single notebook that I tore apart and poked holes in until I finally figured out to tape it so I could know where the um, the paper needed to be. So if that's a tip, you get something out of it. I, I'm, I'm happy to share that part. Now I'm just putting all the papers in. Now the paper that's in the composition notebooks is very thin paper. So I think I'm doing either two or three sheets at a time. And each one of those little books has 50 sheets in it. So technically all together, there are six covers and 150 sheets of paper in each one of those little cellophane wrapped groupings. All right, so I sped it up because really there's nothing exciting about poking holes in paper all day. Um, I did not give my friend just the covers with the 150 pieces of paper in it. I did give her each book with the front and the back, and she picked out the colors of the little wheel binder thingies. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, um, she um, 
picked out the colors and then after I poked holes in some of them, I put them in there so I could get the paper on there. Um, I put three on at one time and it was too much. It was hard to open up the booklets. So I ended up putting two little composition notebooks for those little those little discs that I have. Now I have large discs and I have very tiny discs and this was basically a medium sized disc. And I bought them in bulk off of Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I got a hundred of them for, I don't know, less than $8. I want to say $8. I don't remember because it's been a while since I ordered them. And it's been a year and they've just been sitting around. So I figured out I only could get two in there. So then I end up going it back and doing the rest of them and putting them all together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I had a good time doing it. It was fun to play with it. It does take time. So I watch TV. That's the reason I'm doing the voiceover. I was watching the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial on um, TV last week. And uh, so that's why there's no sound and I had to do the voiceover. It wasn't because of the dogs and the husband. It was because I was watching TV and had the camera going. I thought, oh, no, now what am I going to do? I'm going to do a voiceover. So this is my third try doing the voiceover because the first two, you could barely hear me. This is not the best quality headset. So I ended up with five sets of two. Did I end up with five sets of two? No, I ended up with four sets of two. And then there was one oddball because there was nine. So I got four sets of two and then one single. Thanks, everybody. See ya.